News Jax is your official Jag station, and it's a victory for Duval. All 32 NFL owners approved the deal for the Jag Stadium with the future. I'm Ben Becker. And I'm Tanika Hughes. Now, we've been telling you about plans to redo the Jag Stadium since 2019. And we have team coverage for you on this stadium deal. Our Action Sports Jacks team has the latest from London and here in Duval County. We're going to be breaking down the cost of this project for the city and the team and, of course, for you, the taxpayer. So let's take a look, though, at some renderings of what it would look like as we go to Action News Jacks. Annette Gutierrez, who has more on what this deal means. That's right. This was the city of Jacksonville considers to be a touchdown. The Jaguars owner, the mayor and the city council have worked long and hard to get this deal over the goal line. And today that finally happened. All 32 NFL owners agreed to move forward with the $1.4 billion stadium of the future. Before it got to the owners blessing, city council approved the deal on June 25th with a 14 to 1 vote. Two council members abstained, Kevin Carrico and Terrence Freeman, and two were excused from voting, Jacoby Pittman and Rory Diamond. Council member Mike Gay was the only nay vote, citing concerns about the city's long-term fiscal health. The city is covering $775 million of the cost, with funds coming out of the capital improvement plan. And the Jaguars are covering the rest of the $625 million. Mayor Donna Deegan says she is proud of the accomplishment and getting the unanimous approval from the NFL owners. Well, it's just such a vote of confidence and the truth is, you know, that's my message that I've always had that same message. We have to believe in ourselves and I think that night that we got the team, Jacksonville got that first signal that we are a can-do city and I think this just shows that we are still a can-do city and we're going to do great things. And let's not forget the historic approval of the Community Benefits Agreement it, that will move forward. It's a $300 million deal that will go towards CBA and it will help with going towards to pay for the park, out east improvements and countywide projects, including affordable housing, addressing homelessness and workforce development. For local coverage, you can count on reporting live in studio. Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jax. Our exclusive coverage picks up in London with Action Sports Jacks, Brent Martineau, and you got a chance to speak to Shotgun and Mark Lamping about this vote. Well, what a day back in Jacksonville and obviously here in London as Shad Khan, Mark Lamping, Mayor Donna Deegan just addressed the rest of the media and also we had a chance to catch up with them just moments after they heard about the 32 to nothing unanimous vote on the stadium approval by NFL owners in Atlanta. Tony Khan, Shad Khan's son, was able to file that vote on behalf of the Jaguars, one of the 32 as well. A huge day in the city of Jacksonville and for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, a, a celebratory day, and you've been working on this for a long time, ever since uh, you took ownership of the Jacksonville Jaguars. What does it mean to deliver a new stadium to Jacksonville? Well, I think it tells you, you know, we believe in Jacksonville, the NFL believes in Jacksonville, and it reaffirms really all of our confidence in the city, our fans, and really now to have a venue that's world-class, uh, it's absolutely, I think it's, Jackson, one of Jacksonville's finest hours. How hard is the work that needs to be done in the next four years to let this come to fruition? Well, it's a lot of work. Um, I can tell you, you know, the first half of these, you know, making the project a reality, in my experience, is, is a really hard thing to do. And then you turn the page to delivering the project, and, uh, you know, that's equally difficult, but, you know, it's not like it hasn't been done before, so... Um, a lot of work ahead. Um, we couldn't be more excited about the opportunity to do that work and uh, can't wait for the, uh, you know, the ultimate end. The next step now is just to fill out some paperwork over the next 30 days and then shovel in the ground in the early stages of 2025 with the opening of the new stadium in 2028. Always on the road with the Jacksonville Jaguars, this time in London, England. I'm Brent Morton, Action Sports Jack.